a man, who was at home in Kolar Pakkum next to Chennai, tied his wife up and slit her throat. Chingalputtu District SP Vijay Kumar conducted an inquiry into the incident. They are investigating the background of the horrific murder that took place in the style of the Iran film style. Samson Dinakaran hails from Ambedkar Street, Ananaga, Alipakkam village near Wundalur in Chingalputtu District, retired as a timekeeper in the drinking water drainage board, Chennai. He has two wives. The first wife Alice, son Emmanuel and daughter Benita live alone in Gudwancheri. Samson Dinakaran is living with his second wife Janet. The second wife has no children. In this situation, it rained heavily in the area last night. Then daughter Benita contacted him on the phone to talk to his parents. But his parents did not pick up the phone. He was contacted by phone again yesterday morning. Suspicious of not picking up the phone for a long time, his daughter contacted a neighbor by phone and inquired. It has only the car with the rear gate and door open. But they said no one was home. Frightened, his daughter, son and first wife rushed to the spot. Then when they went inside both houses they were missing. Otai police were notified, upon learning of the information, Otai police inspector Ashokan and police personnel rushed there and searched every room in the two houses. Following this, Chingalputtu district SP Vijay Kumar and Wendalur DSP Anumantan rushed to the area and seriously questioned Simpson Dinarkaran's relatives. Iron gate at the front of the house was always closed. Both dogs have the browser outdoors. She will open the door only if his relatives or acquaintances come. Otherwise whoever goes will not open. Following this, the police broke the lock of the room in another house and went inside. They were shocked to find that the blood had been washed away by pouring water and that the killers had washed the bottle with yellow powder to prevent the stench. On further suspicion, the police opened the water tank on the ground floor of the house. Zenita was found dead with her hand tied and Samson Dinakaran's neck severed. The Maremla Inaga Fire Service Police recovered the bodies of the two and sent them to the government hospital in Chrome paid for autopsy. The Otai police have filed a case and are searching the area for the killers by keeping footage recorded on a CCTV camera in the area. And the husband-wife murder incident has caused great stir and tragedy in the area last night.